expected an army of demons striking fear into the hearts of many and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds. But his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. forces have taken the Yanjin fort. <sighs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chao. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what did the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Tao Tao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the towers who killed our father. Cao <laughs> Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Chowaman's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! <laughs>
Magnificent. <laughs> now we've taken Baima back. Yunchang. It's spring. A fine season to set out on a journey. <laughs> In Yanjin. Some are saying that Qinlong descended from heaven, and that he has been imprisoned by a human. Can it be that my brother is there? Why not visit this rumored location and find out what is going on? You brought the horse that was tethered in the stable! Red hair! It's alive! It can travel a thousand miles a day. But it is said that it chooses its master. Should have expected nothing less. Just a small gift. You may set out on your journey now, Yunchang. Without fail, I, Gwen Yu, shall repay this favor someday. <clears throat> I hear Yanjin Fort is already a den of demons. Will you lend Yunchang your aid? <laughs> 